Well, we'll see how this goes. It's the first video with the uh, the new Samsung Galaxy S22 phone. And no, no, I don't need the latest and greatest phone in the history of the universe. It was just when I was in the hospital. They uh, knocked the phone off of the bed about, oh, I don't know, a thousand times. And I had the outer box protector, which did a good damn job. And uh, man, it hit that concrete floor over and over again when I got here. I was having trouble pulling in the um, phone calls and uh, I'd have to walk up the street and I bought, downloaded one of those apps to look at my cell phone signal. Anyway, so I ended up getting the new phone. So that's what this is all about. Uh, before we even get into the video, um, war's not going well in Ukraine. Like I said, I, my prediction was by the end of um, August, um, it, it'll definitely be over probably a lot sooner than that. I had said at first, maybe by the end of July, but then I told you definitely by the end of August. Um, so what the globalists are going to do at that point, I don't know. They're going to spin it. They'll probably blame Zelensky uh, for the war and say he did something wrong. And uh, of course, now they're spinning things up against China. By the way, China, I'm surprised they're really pissed off <laughs> about, about the fact that an 80-year-old woman with five facelifts visited their country. I mean, who the hell? I mean, who's worried about Nancy Pelosi? Except if she became president. Oh, my God, she's third in line. Oh, can you imagine that 80-year-old witch becoming the president of the United States? Oh, my goodness, I swear. I, anyway, it's, it's a horrible thought, but... Um, but yeah, they, uh, they're, they're stepping up. I think they're using it as an excuse. They, they're stepping up their military exercises, you know. Um, and there's a lot of shit going over there and on over there with China. Uh, I bet Taiwan, if I was Taiwan, I'd be pissed off. Why the hell? Did, did, I'm, I'm sure Nancy just walked in and said, hi, how you guys doing? See you later. By the way, China's pissed off now, so you guys do the best you can. All right, so... This is just a quick video because I want, I mean, I haven't made a video in quite some time because, you know, I was, well, I was trying to get back to Florida and I've got some videos about that, that whole trip. And then I've got videos, uh, uh, other videos about when I was still up in Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick, quick, quick video about uh, the trip down and, uh, and then we're going to get into all of this. Because uh, I got a lot of education uh, for you about being handicapped and crippled and divorced and uh, uh, hospitals and uh, everything else. And, you know, if you follow my channel, uh, my life, my, my channel was originally about hiking, but then it's about life experiences. It's about politics to a certain degree. Uh, the wife, looky here, man, she let me have, oh, the ex-wife, excuse me, the old battle axe. She let me have the dog, man. I, I'm, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, anyway, there's, there's a lot more to that story. So let's get back to the story. So my cousin, he booted me out on, I want to say Monday, I don't know, July 10th or so, whatever, whatever it was. Uh, well, Tuesday, he, he let me stay till Tuesday, but I want to tell you what, he, <laughs> he didn't like me being in his house. You can't cuss and you can't talk about politics, you know, which was fine. You know, I, I had no problem with that. And I tried to avoid him. He's, He's an ornery seventy-some-year-old guy, and uh, and granted, he gave up his um, he gave up his TV room and he gave up his bedroom for me to sleep in because a small house, and uh, you know I was only supposed to be there three days originally, and I ended up staying four because it was just a ton of stuff going on. Um, but let's just get into a couple stories real quick. So the first thing that happened was um, they sent me the wrong uh, catheters uh, to Lynchburg, Virginia. I had everything lined up. Uh, and in fact, I got a whole video about that. Um, well, I think I do. And, uh, so I'll go into details, but I ended up having to send them back. So I was running out and I had to go to Lynchburg emergency room. Um, they didn't have any catheters they could give me. They made me wait eight hours. Luckily I had a couple catheters. So, you know, I didn't get into an emergency situation like I did up at UVA. That's another story, probably in some other videos. I don't remember, if, you know, it's hard to remember. That's why I make videos as I go along and, and you know, when it's been, well, I'm also Dane Bramaged after falling down the stairs and breaking my neck and busting my head. But um, so, all right, getting back to that. So those catheters went back. So now I'm out of catheters. And so I ended up traveling to, um, well, I finally got to Cary, North Carolina. Man, I will tell you what, whew, when you haven't driven in two or three months and you've been laying in the bed, staring the ceiling, um, you know, basically, uh, paralyzed uh it's uh it's it's it driving a car again it's 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 a whole new world man i 
I was having a tough time. Plus, I had the broken collarbone. I got a broken rib, you know, and I'm kind of steering with one hand. And, uh, you know, I got down to um, to carry and uh, pretty uneventful for the most part. And, uh, uh, boy, I tell you, when I got there, that was another thing. So I had all the relatives. I had my uncle, my cousins, uh, my best friend. Everybody's looking for catheters. You can't find them anywhere, man. Uh, finally, uh, my uncle, God bless his soul, he found a pharmacy all the way across the Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina area. <laughs> I had to drive like an hour. I, I don't even know where I was. Chapel, I, I said Chapel Hill, but I think it was, it was, might have been, I don't know, some wellness pharmacy or something like that. And I, I, I bought 30 because I, I said, man, I just need just enough to, to tide me over uh, while I'm here in North Carolina and then just to get me back to, to Florida. And uh, by the way, it did work out. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, just, well, let's get into the trip. Let's get into the journey. I won't talk about my time in Cary. Uh, it was pretty uneventful. Uh, I was pretty, still pretty messed up. Uh, my best friend, he was just an angel, man. And, uh, you know, we, we watched, uh, by the way, <laughs> I'm going to call it the booger video. <laughs> oh, my God. I posted it for one night. And when I put it up on the 70-inch TV, I had the phone out and I had it at an angle where it was shining up my nose on a sunlit day. And uh, there was this booger hanging out. <laughs> man. And, then it, and then it wouldn't do a close up and we were laughing. And I, I said, man, I got to take that down. So I'm going to edit that video and I'm going to put it up and I'm going to blur out the booger hanging out of my nose. But, but it's a pretty funny video other than that. Uh, I mean, it, you know, well, if you want to see the booger, just leave a comment below. I'll put the booger video up. But I mean, I would just like, man this is this is rough um, so I haven't posted that video is another video I made in Lynchburg I'm um, talking about things and I haven't posted that video. I just haven't had time man I, I just got back a couple couple weeks ago um, so let's talk about the trip on down so I'm coming on down uh, man the construction on 95 all the way through North Carolina I mean you tell me now if I was going to be the highway road management system and I was going to work on a highway, I might tear up, I don't know, let's say 10 miles. Let's say 10 miles of highway. Uh, that seems like a lot to me. And finish that 10 miles and then go on to the next 10 miles. No, man, they got the whole damn thing torn up almost from Cary, North Carolina, all the way to the, the border of um, uh, South Carolina. And, uh, man, I, I was just like, you know, and... You know, obviously there's not equipment every step of the way. So, I mean, why tear the whole damn thing? I, maybe there's some advantage that, you know, the equipment that comes in to tear it up, uh, then they can just discard that aside and then work on the next round of equipment. That must be some, I'm hoping there's a, a savings of some sort uh, um, for the taxpayers, but who knows I mean, in this day and age. Uh, so then, you know, I got to South Carolina. And by the way, I did, I made a, a video of me, but, butt rubbing the signs in each state as I moved along. I think it might have been um, South, well, no, it's still North Carolina. Okay, so now, um, you know, like I said, you can't kill the rooster. You can't kill the rooster. Fell down the stairs, broke my neck, uh, should have been paralyzed. Uh, I still can't feel my hands, still can't feel my feet. But uh, so now I'm coming down. I, and by the way, that um, automatic cruise control, which I've got in the Toyota Prius Prime, it works good, except in an emergency situation. And for whatever reason, traffic was came to a complete stop abruptly. And uh, I was I was I was booking right into the vehicle right in front of me. And uh, and, and you know, of course I was you know I'm just kind of relaxed with the you know, automatic cruise control, you know, because it's got that uh, feature where you know it keeps a safe distance. Yeah, it keeps a safe distance, all right. And thank God I had at least that buffer. But I couldn't stop the car. I was going to slam into the car in front of me. And uh, luckily, I don't know why, the right lane was open. And uh, man, I bailed. I bet I went five, six, seven, maybe 10 cars before I got down to where I could come to a stop. So when you think about it, I mean, if I'd hit that car from behind, not only would it have broken my already broken neck, which would have killed me for sure, I could have probably injured the people in front of me. So, you know, I mean, so that, you know, that's one problem with that automatic cruise control. Even though it's a safe distance, which is a lot better than most people drive, uh, it, I could still use a little bit more distance from the car in front of me, at least with my reaction time, especially being crippled. All right, so then, you know, came on to Florida and uh, did the butt rub there and made a video. By the way, I got down on the ground uh, to, to add to the video. 
<laughs> and then I couldn't get back up again. <laughs> man, I'm crawling around on the concrete, man. My knees are hurting. I'm like, God dang it. How can... I don't know where, how I finally got back up again, but I did get back up off of the uh, concrete, obviously, and uh, continued my journey on home. And, uh, oh, this is, this is a cute story. So, you know, I have a... I had a stool for my mom's house, and the nice thing about it is, is that, you know, you, I was surprised people didn't say anything, because I carry the stool into the, um, the restroom, and by the way, you're stopping when, you, when you're crippled, you're stopping every rest stop, you know, every hour on the hour, every rest stop, you know, you, you just can't, you know, you can't drive for long, um, of course, you got to empty that bladder and everything, and so what, what I would do is I carry the stool in, and get into the handicap stall, and then you put the stool up, and you sit on the stool, and then you, well, I'm not trying to gross you out, but then you cath into the toilet, just like you're peeing like a regular person, and uh, and, and it worked out great, you know, I was like, man, I'm, but I was wondering why people, nobody really kind of gave me a glance about carrying a stool <laughs> into the restroom, but it got worse, so now I get to Florida, and I'm on this, uh, well, 301, 301, I'm coming into um, Central Florida, and man, I mean, I was trying to hold it. I was trying to watch it. Please, God, just get me home. Just get me home. And I had hit, a, I hit another. I mean, I got the video. I, I, I'll be posting that of some of the journey. Major thunderstorm, you know. Slow, I mean, everything slowed me down. Traffic. I mean, I, good God, I'm traveling on a Sunday. Uh, anyway, you know, after the 4th of July, you would have thought there'd be no traffic. And, oh, man. So, I, I, I said, I got to pull up. got to pull up. So, there's this country station. So it was actually a shell station. And I said, well, I can always get some shell gas, even though I didn't need any gas at that point. In Prius Prime, you get 80 miles to a gallon. And uh, so I pulled in there and I said, man, this, this looks like a rough place. And uh, at least there weren't bars on the windows. I will give it that. But I thought, man, this bathroom's going to, because that's another thing. You got to be real careful. I mean, you got to keep the, the area sanitary. And uh, so anyway, I, I, Turns out it was the cleanest bathroom <laughs> that you could ever imagine. But I can't imagine them rednecks that when I carried a stool back there, I would have thought they thought I was a terrorist or something, you know. But nobody said anything, and uh, I just went on back out to the car and worked out great. So then, of course, I got home. So that was uh, kind of the journey home. I'm just going to throw this up as a, as a quick video. Now, um, just to add just a teeny wee bit to it, so you get home. And I kind of forgotten um, because it was so long ago when I left for Virginia to take care of my mom. By the way, uh, let me describe what my mom was like. Uh, now, she died Cinco de Mayo, and uh, uh, I broke my neck two days before her funeral. But, um, so I didn't make the funeral. But uh, anyway, if you ever want to watch the movie Throw Mama from the Train, okay, that was my mother. So I, it always cracks me up when people look at me and they go, oh man, I'm so sorry that your mom is dead. <laughs> yeah, I just think, you know what? I mean, cause she did, um, well, I, 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 you know what? I mean, this is, this is terrible. This is terrible, but I think I went through what I went through for a reason. And I'm just going to give you the reason why, uh, you know, mom put herself in the situation that she was in. She was a miserable wretch for probably the last two or three years of her life, all alone, especially when COVID hit. She didn't want anybody in the house except my uh, adopted stepsister, Wanda, and, uh, um, you know, and that was it. Uh, and nobody else was allowed to see her. And even when I came, she, she'd cuss me out and tell me what a bad person I was and to go on back to Florida and get the hell out of her house and blah, 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 blah. You know, and I and, and I was always like, well, mom, you know, good. I'm see you later. I'm up <laughs> back to my life in Florida because I, you know, I had a good life here. Had, well, I'm getting back to it. I mean, it's not much I can do now, um, being crippled like this. I'm hoping that I get better. But um, so anyway, uh, so while I was there, the seven months taking care of her. If you ever watch Throw Mama from the Train, every day, every day she cussed me out. Every day she'd take her diaper off. Every day she'd pee the bed. Every day she would, that, that colonoscopy bag, she'd rip it off. It smells horrendous. It permeated the house. I mean, it was a living freaking nightmare trying to, to do the right thing to take care of my mother. And, and so, you know, she begged me for two years to kill her. Uh, she said, please, son, will you just murder me. And you know what? And, and, and I said, Mom, I can't do that. I don't want to go to jail for the rest of my life. Well, that's kind of selfish of me. 
In hindsight, now, after what I've been through in the hospital, I'd kill her in a heartbeat. I'd kill her in a heartbeat because, uh, and, 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 you know, you could do, you know, like, um, uh, because the Wanda couldn't be there all the time, the medications were sitting right next to my mother, and that was the reason I went up there, was she tried to overdose on the pills. Well, in hindsight, I could have done the same thing on a visit. I could have just pushed maybe some more lethal pills up close to her, you know, like some sleeping pills, and, and then just hinted and said, you know, hey, Mom, you know, these pills are here to help you sleep, but don't take too many of them, because if you take more than like 10, you might die, you know, and especially if you down that whole bottle, and there's nobody that's going to call an ambulance, because Wanda only comes once a week, I, I would assume, you know, you'd probably be dead pretty quick, so her suicide attempt didn't work because the pills that she took they put her in a coma for five or six days but they didn't kill her now in hindsight i would have put i would have put pills there that would have been and you know what hospice they didn't even question the fact that the pills were right next to my mother uh now granted i guess they could well you've heard my stories they tried to throw me in jail and I was under court order to stay in Lynchburg. I don't even know if I told that whole story. I have to go back to my videos. I don't want to repeat myself. Uh, like I said, I'm Dane Bramaged, but that's a whole story in and of itself about uh, my, my journey. Well, I think I did tell it because there was many videos I made up in Lynchburg. So that's about it. Uh, I'm back in Florida. Um, I was going to finish the video with what I came home to. I completely forgot. You know, my wife had moved out, done the midnight run, and, and just tore the house all to pieces, uh, and, uh, and of course, um, here's a couple little edumacation things for you. Uh, I didn't pay an exterminator while I was up in Virginia, because I just never had problems with the bugs, and so when I got down here after seven months, I didn't realize in Florida here, they'll come up through the drains when you're not using your washing machine or your sinks. or the, Well, I did leave water in the toilets. You do want to do that, but I didn't put because I, I was only going for what I thought was just maybe a couple weeks to a month. I didn't know I'd be there seven months. Um, but, you know, I didn't put Clorox in the toilets, for example. So there was all kinds of dead bugs down in the toilet. But I did keep them from coming back through the back trap. But they came up through the drains. And anyway, I had an infestation. So I had to get exterminators in here. That was the first thing. And, of course, you got to wash everything because now that they've been crawling all over the dishes and the cabinets and the bed. And, of course, I've got to be sanitary because I don't want to get a urinary tract infection. You know, I mean, it, it was a gosh dang nightmare. I'm walking into the house and, of course, there's shit everywhere and you can't find anything because, you know, she's taking this and taking that. And I just didn't have time to get things very organized. And, of course, I got seven months of mail waiting for me and. Oh, my God. So we're going to get into all of that in a, in a following video. So this is it. I just want to post a real quick video. Say hi to the boo dog. And then we're going to talk about edumacation. So uh, I'm going to get into, uh, for example, um, the garbage disposal. Uh, I didn't realize. I mean, I, I, I saw it drip, drip, dripping. And it, it, well, it, it, actually, it wasn't working. And for whatever reason, it cut the circuit off to the dishwasher. But the circuit breaker wasn't flipped. And, uh, and so I couldn't, I couldn't use the garbage disposal on the dishwasher when I got here. And, uh, and what had happened was, uh, you know, if you're going to go away for a long period of time, and obviously I did not know, put some oil down in that garbage disposal, and that will keep it from rusting out. Um, I did not know that. That was uh, that was a tip because I was watching videos at YouTube on garbage disposals because I had to replace it or I'm in the process of replacing it. I bought one. I got it right here. We're going to go over that in, in the next video. Uh, so that was one thing, you know, be sure and put Clorox in the toilets. Um, hell, I'd, I'd seal up the drains, man. I'd put something over the shower drains to make sure that nothing can crawl up through them. Uh, same with the sinks and everything. You know, uh, if you got them stoppers, just pull the stopper down so they can't come up through the sinks. Um, now, a project I'm going to get into is I'm replacing all the windows because uh, I think some of the bugs came in through the windows. So these are little things we're going to talk about in future videos. Peace out. Stay free. Let's, uh, let's do the mantra. It's good to be back in the free state of Florida after leaving the woke state of virginia now i was in charlottesville uh you know i you know whenever you call the phone line up there it says if you have a COVID emergency please press one and we will 
connect you with the proper people. They're still living the COVID nightmare, you know? I mean, I, it was so refreshing to get back here. I mean, you know, I mean, we've been living a normal life here in Florida for two years under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And by the way, wasn't it great when he fired that woke uh, um, district attorney? Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of our governor. Man, I hope he doesn't run for president. I want to keep him here in Florida. All right, peace out. Stay free. Let's, let's get this video uploading on the new phone and see how it works out. Uh, let me know what you think. Yeah. <sighs>